Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the next episode of Tea Chat. So like most tea chats, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, while we'll be drinking tea, we will actually be talking about something else, a different part of my life. And today we're going to be discussing my and showing off my uh, pen and brooch collection. Uh, because some of them are tea themed and because it is one of my biggest things that I collect and kind of one of my super like obsession items and kind of my like go-to signature look sort of thing. Uh, but first we will start off talking about what tea we're drinking. It is Ohio Tea Co's Peach Melba Tea and a Peach Melba which I wasn't sure what it was, but I had to look it up. <laughs> um, peach Melba is a cooked uh, peach sauce with raspberries to serve over ice cream. And yeah, that's what this tea tastes like. Completely like amazing. So it has peaches, hibiscus, apple bits, elderberries, and sunflower petals and peach cream flavor. It is an herbal tea. Usually I don't do herbal teas, but it's like eight o'clock and <laughs> I don't want to have, uh, I don't want to have caffeine right now. So it seeps up this dark reddish purple and it's just beautiful, but it tastes like it's rich and it's got this very thick mouth feel and you can taste the peaches, which is kind of rare I find with peach teas. And you can taste like raspberry, even though there's not raspberry in it, but I think the hibiscus kind of blends in there to be the raspberry part of the sauce. It is very decadent and very good. So, tea collection. We're going to start off with my pins from Tea Thoughts, which is a small business that specializes in tea-themed... Um, tea themed um <laughs> gifts and such and if you've been watching my channel you are well aware of what tea thoughts is uh but uh the owner nazanin designs these gorgeous acrylic pins and some of them are wooden um carved cut laser etched wooden uh i don't have any of those uh, but <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start with those because i just got some new ones today and that kind of inspired this whole thing so the first one is this white Gaiwan pin, which I love. It is the first one I got, but it's this white Gaiwan with this light pink flower. It's so pretty. And then there's the matcha mint julep pin that I just got for free, a little free extra. She does free little extras all the time. Uh, these are her newest pins to release based on Yixing clay pots and I'm kind of like I may need a Yixing pot now because I don't have one <laughs> um, but I've kind of been thinking it's like I should get one uh, but I'm thinking if I get one I want one shaped like this cute little pear shape so this one has a pangolin animal on it and this one has peaches and I just love this one. It's so cute with the little peaches, which is fitting that I'm drinking peach tea. Uh, <laughs> there's this beautiful, sorry for all the glaring, um, but these are really shiny. Uh, this beautiful blue pomegranate guy I don't know if there's a way I can block the glaring, uh, but it's, these beautiful shades of blue with these little pomegranates and Nazanin likes to uh, design a lot of her things based on her actual tea wear so I believe this one and the this one definitely is based off of some tea wear she actually has I got this one in the spring countdown box which if you watch those videos you know that this is the acrylic version of that or yeah the acrylic version of that so it's got the acrylic over like a sticker 
uh, versus there is a um, there is one of the enamel pins uh, like that as well and the camellia sinensis plant which is so awesome I love it so I love T Thoughts and that she designs all these because it's hard to find ways to represent your tea love in like tea wear, especially for guy wands and things like that. You definitely can't find that. So it's so fun to show tea love this way. So uh, the rest of my pins, I have newer pins and like geeky pins. And a lot of those are enamel uh, pins, uh, but some of them aren't. And then I have a bunch of antique pins, and that's really where my collection like thrives of what I'm really obsessed with collecting. So I'm going to start with the like newer pins. And this is one. He's a little large, but my mom got me this one for like my birthday or something last year, I think. Uh, but he's super large, and he's got this like little springy butterfly on the little kitty. Uh, I keep all of these in like a big shadow box and I'm running out of room because they don't all fit now. Uh, but I unhook them also you can I can show them easier. Ended up stabbing my finger in the process. So that was super fun. I need a better way to organize this because this is hard to get in and out of the box because I just like clip them to the fabric on the back of the box. So yeah. Uh, I know there's pin things, and I need to buy one. So this is my little Schnauzer dog pin. Um, yeah, I guess I'm starting with the antique ones, because I was going to start with the other ones. Uh, but I'm starting with the antique ones. Okay. So my mom got me this at an antique shop. He's so cute. And then I found this beautiful green pin. I love it's just so different and it's really well made and my favorite color is green so I just had to get this one and I think my mom got me this little owl dude he's cute and then I found this one this beautiful little butterfly And this is one of my favorites, uh, but it's really heavy, and it's actually double-backed, uh, but it's a train, and I just thought that was so cool. I like finding, actually I realized um, I have a pin over there that is not in the box. Um, actually, I have a couple things that aren't in the box. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I like finding things that are unique. Um, especially if I'm antique shopping, the more unique, the better. And sometimes it's like, okay, this is really cool. I'm never going to wear this, even though I wear a lot of pins. So it's like, I'm probably never going to wear, uh, I've, I have worn this and I will wear this, um, but some of them, it's like, I'm probably never going to wear this, but it's too cool to pass up. So I like the super unique. Um, this is pretty little silver butterfly. And I love him because he just kind of goes with everything. Elephant, which is also really heavy. <laughs> and one of my favorite finds is this giraffe duo. Yeah. So it's got a mama giraffe and a baby giraffe, and they're so cute. I love it. But yeah, super excited the day I found those. Um, I get very excited in attending teak stops, and some of them kind of know that I'm there just to hunt for pins. And this cute little basket of apples. And growing up, I was super nervous about going to school because I've been a super shy, introverted person my whole life. So growing up, I had several of these little guardian angel pins. Um, and my parents decided to give me these and they say like if you wear it then you're wearing one of your guardian angels with you to protect you throughout the day and that actually helped my anxiety 
some. I did, I did have a lot of freakouts <laughs> as a young child, but it was cool. And I think that's part of what got me addicted to pins. I have this one. I just, I love this one. It's so pretty. It's pretty, it's not really that unique, I don't think, but I love the look of it. This one is very, very unique, and I knew when I saw it, I just had to get it. It's a little pig, and it has little piglets. And the little piglets are actually separate, and they're earrings. So you can take those off and wear them as earrings. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I know not all of you are necessarily interested in this, but if you're watching this, thanks. And I just, I just want to share my pins and my pin love and everything. So I found this one more recently. I love this dragonfly. He's so pretty. He's got purple and blue and green wings, which are my favorite colors. So pretty. This one, it's huge. So this was one, like, I'm not sure that I'm ever going to wear this because it's so big. Um, but I just thought this was so neat because it's got the globe and the books and the apple and the teacup. So I just thought it was super neat. And another that falls into that level is this antique phone. Again, saw this, had to have this because it's just so unique and so cool and I love that it's got this little chain for the phone uh, wire and this just super cute wall mount phone. I love it. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This I found at the shop and I'm like okay definitely getting this. Fell in love. It is gorgeous. It's got these like tanzanite covered stones so so pretty and then I have this cute little Easter basket with little Easter eggs which I did wear for Easter the other day this I got from my grandma it's so pretty uh basically we were looking through her jewelry collection and she's like okay you can pick something that you want and i pick this i picked this as like i don't know how old was i 14. they're about young teenage girl picks this as the jewelry item that she wants <laughs> um so it's cool like this like coat of arms sort of thing and it's got this pink opal in the middle as you can see, I love pins, and I've loved pins for a while. <laughs> um, this is also, I believe, a family passed down heirloom, but I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly how I got this one. But it's neat. It's almost like a pink daffodil. And then this was my great-grandma's pin, and we share the same first letter in our name, as does my mother. Um, so we all have K's, so it's cool that we can all share this cool K pin. Um, and that's one that I wear frequently just because, again, it goes with everything. So for, that was all my antique stuff. So now I'm going to go, and some of these were found in antique shops, but they're not, I wouldn't consider them antiques. Um, but so these are the newer stuff. So I got this for Christmas, little gizmo from Gremlins. I've had this one for quite some time, little black cat. I don't remember how, how I originally got that, but it's been in my collection for a while. I also got this for Christmas. It was a very pin-filled Christmas. Um, but the little fox has got a little teacup and a stack of books and it's all cozy and it just like is me embodiment here. <laughs> um, he's another double stacker. So is this one actually, even though he's small. This is one of my top favorite pins that is probably one that I wear the most frequently really because it's this cute little kitty space astronaut and I love it because it's so awesome and it glows in the dark. 
Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with cats and I just thought this was super cool <laughs> and had to have it. I have an acrylic teapot, or not acrylic, why do I, I keep saying the wrong word there? It's enamel, enamel teapot. And I have the Hunger Games pin, which I did find in an antique shop, but this is not an antique. <laughs> Um, but again, I needed it for my collection because I do love me the Mockingjay pen. And my mom got me this somewhat recently, this little sloth pen. As you could tell from my stories here, my, my mom is well aware of my pen obsession and is uh, fueling it. Fully okay with that. She also got me this one, this cool bicycle. This one is really neat. I don't think I'd ever necessarily wear it because it's it's very three-dimensional. Like it's got pedals that really work and these tassels and everything and the wheels move. And so it's really, really cool. But I think wearing this could be uh, interesting. I'm going to take that one off. And I have my Star Wars Rebellion pen because, yeah, big, big Star Wars fan. Uh, <laughs> I guess several of these are, a couple of these are still attached here. Um, I have this massive B pen that my mother in law got me, which I did kind of, I had on my wish list and I didn't realize it was this big but it's like oh my gosh it's huge but it's so gorgeous we're okay we're, we're okay no tea where I was harmed and if you didn't catch what I one of my other my my more recent videos um yeah I broke some tea where the other day I broke my little uh tea weighing display Thing. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to break something, I, uh, I'm i glad I broke something, like, fairly insignificant. So these are my cool Earth and Moon pins. I love them. They're actually, like, lapel pins, but, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to get them, and I'm going to wear them and have Earth and Moon pins. And this is a pin that most of my... Uh, family and some of my friends who are giraffe obsessed people. I have a lot of giraffe obsessed people in my life. Not that I don't love giraffes because I love giraffes too, but <laughs> I have a lot of giraffe obsessed people and they are super jealous of this pen. Uh, so he's super awesome. He sparkles. This flower pen is a little hard to see. And I'm not sure if this one and one of the other ones uh, my mom got, and I think she did get them at an antique shop, so they may actually be antiques. But he's a little turtle, and I love his colorful shell. And this cat, it's like, I think she might have got them at antique shops, but I don't know if they're actually like antique, antique or not. Big gold flower. And then these cool book themed pens that I got at the bookstore. It's a bibliophile, and some of my best friends are books. Because I just thought that was cool. Um, I realized, yes, I did not actually grab all of my pens because apparently <laughs> they weren't all back there. I have a new pen, and it's a little mini airplane, and it's super cute, but I'm not going to go and stop this and fetch those. And then I also have a um, brass little bow with sparkles. So, all my pens. <laughs> so, yeah, this actually took a little bit longer than I was intending to, but if you were interested in watching this and stuck through it, thank you. 
um, for watching here with me for my little tea chat learning a little bit more about me and what I like and my collecting so um, like I said thanks for being here um, if you're interested in the tea thoughts pins I will link those below um, like I said the other ones were just kind of found in random shops and antique shops throughout time so I can't really link anything else um, I can also link this tea if you are interested in the Ohio tea cold peach melba um, so yeah, thank you for sticking out. Thank you for watching. If you liked this style of video, um, please like down below. And if you are not subscribed but want to keep up with all news about me and tea, um, make sure you hit subscribe down below as well. Um, and in the comments, if you would like to, please let me know something that you collect because I would be really excited to hear about that. So. I will see you next time. Have a nice day.